Hello, and thank you and welcome to everyone who joined us today for the Lab Embedded Entrepreneurship Program Summit. At DOE, we are laser focused on equitably transitioning the United States to a clean energy economy by 2050. Meeting the challenge of net zero carbon emissions requires moving clean energy innovations out of the lab and into the marketplace more rapidly than ever before. And this lab embedded entrepreneurship program does this by leveraging national lab expertise and facilities and networks and by aiding entrepreneurs in the development of clean energy technologies and innovations. The technologies and solutions that come out of this program accelerate our transition to reduce emissions. Now, the department has also broadened our focus to go way beyond just clean energy R&D. We know that we can't transition to a clean energy economy without bringing communities and workers along with us. And so to ensure that we're doing that, the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy established four guiding principles. One, institutionalizing energy equity and environmental justice. Two, ensuring diversity and inclusion in STEM. Three, developing a clean, a skilled clean energy workforce, and four, strengthening engagement with state, local, and community partners. This is where the Lab Embedded Entrepreneurship Program shines. Instead of funding the technology, this program funds innovators with promising ideas to make the world a better place. And we're supporting the training and education of the next generation of clean energy pioneers and providing the tools that they might need to help grow their businesses. So as we prepare the clean energy workforce for the future, we need to be ensuring that we're, we're employing a workforce that's diverse and inclusive, one that looks like America, quite frankly. Uh, creating partnerships that, that br bring diversity of thought from various communities to the table. That's the only way we're going to be able to solve this, the energy challenges that we have and, and the climate imperatives that face us uh, as a nation. So through this lab embedded entrepreneurship program, we're empowering a diverse and skilled group of innovators. The program also supports the energy equity and environmental justice goals that we've set out for ourselves. Entrepreneurs are developing clean energy solutions to reduce pollutants and toxic materials that disproportionately harm low income households and communities of color. And finally, by investing in innovators, we're embedding their businesses and solutions into communities across the United States. This program is a model for clean technology innovation investments across DOE, across other government agencies and industry partners. These entrepreneurs, are helping to build a clean energy future. It's gonna create a good paying job, it's gonna lower energy bills for everyone, and it's going to support a path towards US energy independence. So lastly, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't take the time to thank John Carlisle, who as the founding director, helped launch Argonne's Chain Reaction Innovations and carefully nurtured this program and, and mentored innovators for more than five years. John's going to retire following the summit. And I just wanted to thank him and to recognize him for his tireless work, for his passion for the lab embedded entrepreneurship program itself, and for his steadfast belief that the national labs and Department of Energy can improve lives and address climate change. So thank you so much for your service, John. And thank you to all the innovators and the investors and the industrial partners who've joined us today to learn more about the lab embedded entrepreneurship program and to connect with those who share your energy goals. We believe strongly that together we can ensure this clean energy future for ourselves. So thank you.